It seems we have a bit of a leak for the Huawei Nexus 6P as it's currently being called at the moment and this isn't exactly unusual as we've seen quite a few times now when it comes to leaks devices often get leaked completely before their official launch. This has happened quite a few times to a few flagship devices including the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge as well as the iPhone 6S and the HTC One M9, and today it just happens to be the Nexus 6P's turn. So what do we know about it? Well, unsurprisingly, it comes with the brand new version of Android, or at least it should be, as of all rumours and leaks, do take this with a pinch of salt, none of this is set in stone, but if this information is correct, it will be Android Marshmallow, which comes with fingerprint verification battery savings and improved app permissions along with a few other goodies as well. What else do we know in terms of the technical specifications? Well, the Nexus 6P will actually be making use of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 810 version 2.1 to be exact. So fingers crossed that they've actually managed to figure out a way of eliminating throttling such as Sony managed to do earlier this year. We also know about the resolution and size of the screen, that being 5.7 inch WQHD high resolution screen. Uh, it's of course powered by Android Marshmallow, has a 3450 mAh battery, weighs 178 grams, dual front ported speakers, USB Type C charger for faster charging and quicker data transfer rates. As for the actual size of the screen, it's 1440 by 2560. Now, as I mentioned a moment ago, the Android Marshmallow OS will be favouring battery performance and will have features such as Doze and App Standby. So it'll be interesting to see how this actually equates, if at all, to real-life performance and if it actually manages to save the battery even slightly. Hopefully it does. Battery is, of course, a big concern for smartphones. And the last thing that I want to touch on is the memory options available for the device. Uh, it's going to be 32, 64 and 128 gig and of course expandable in the form of a micro SD. So nothing exactly groundbreaking there in terms of the memory. There are a few things we don't yet know about this particular device including of course the RAM, camera resolution and a few other details but we do know a fair bit about the device itself. And of course, no information as far as I can tell regarding the price, but given that we've had a pretty much almost complete leak regarding this particular device minus a few details, I would expect an official announcement regarding this quite soon, and I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of this actually turns out to be true. And hopefully we get a full detail on what we can actually expect from Marshmallow as well. Regardless of all that though guys, thank you very much for watching, hope you've enjoyed it, I'll see you next time.